The first thing we need to do is to find the energy before any of the scattering occurs. And in order to do that, we'll have to use this formula right here. And when we go ahead and plug in our numbers, we'll get an energy of 1.24 times 10 to the negative 13th joules. Next, we're going to need to use this formula right here. But we're going to be able to reduce this formula with this given piece of information. The kinetic energy of an electron is equal to the energy of a photon, and the energy of the photon is simply Planck's constant times the frequency. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to label some of the terms in this formula. So h times the initial frequency, we're going to call that e, and we already found e which was 1.24 times 10 to the negative 13th joules. And this HF term, or the energy of a photon, we're going to call that the energy in the x direction. And like it was previously mentioned, the kinetic energy of the electron is equal to the energy of a photon. What we can do now is rewrite this as e is equal to 2 e sub x. What we're going to do now is solve for e in the x direction, and we'll get that the energy in the x direction is 6.21 times 10 to the negative 14th joules. Next, we're going to take that energy and we'll use that to find the new wavelength. The new wavelength will come out to be 3.2 times 10 to the negative 12 meters. Now we can go ahead and use the Compton effect formula, which is the change in the wavelength is equal to the new wavelength minus the initial wavelength and we set that all equal to Planck's constant divided by the mass of the electron times the speed of light times 1 minus cosine theta. Now the question is asking for the scattering angle, so we have to solve for theta. Now when we solve for theta, we'll get an angle or a scattering angle of 70.1 degrees.